Hi, I'm Paddy Byrne and welcome to Free Falling Through Canvas Apps. In our last episode, we added two fields to our Opportunities Gallery. We added the Owner field and the Status Reason field. The reason we've added those fields is for this next bit, because now we're going to fill our Opportunities Gallery by Status Reason, we want Open Opportunities, and by Owner. We only want to bring back opportunities that are owned by the currently logged in user. Because we've got selfish sales guys, they don't care about anybody else's pipeline, they only care about what they're doing right now. And it's the easy opportunities manager, so we're trying to make it easy for them. So we're, our, our view that we're going to see of opportunities is going to be of my open opportunities. Similar to what we've got in Dynamics 365 for custom engagement. And adding these fillers, we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at option sets, how they're dealt with in Canvas apps. And we're going to look at delegation. Now, we're not going to go in too much to delegation, but I'm just going to show you a few ways around that. And in showing you those ways, we're going to look at the lookup function, and we're going to look at how to set variables within our Canvas app. So here we go, how to apply the fillers. So as I said earlier, we're only adding those fields to help us add our filter and just check that we're returning the right results when we add our filter. So let's go ahead and look at filtering, sorting and searching. And that's all done on the gallery control and it's from this items property here. So let's have a look first at what the template puts in for us. So we'll format the text and expand this bar down a bit. It puts in a sort by columns function. The first parameter is the data set, the source. The second parameter is the field that we want to sort with. So we don't want current situation, we're going to change that to estimate the close date because that's a bit more relevant. And then it tells us what order. And the order depends on this control here, which is the button actually at the top of our view. And if I just show you how that works. That's a preview. You can now see this is sorted by estimated close date. And that's ascending. So we've got 2013 and then 2014. And if we hit the two arrows up here. We should reverse the order. Yep. That's reversing the order. Hit it again, put it back. So that's as amended our sorting. Let's go back to our filter. Sorry, our items. So that's what's fine, we can leave that alone. Let's have a look at the search function. We're searching opportunities, and that's our source. That's the text box that we're searching on. And we don't need any of this. We're just gonna take that out and replace it with the topic, which is actually called name in the background. So now we're only searching by topic. So let's add our filter. And our filter goes within the search function. In fact, it replaces this first parameter source. So let's delete our source out, add our filter function. And the first parameter of filter is the source again. So opportunities. And the second parameter is the first logical test. The first thing we're going to filter by is the status. We want to filter by status equals open. Now status is an option set. So they are dealt with in a different way again. So in order to add the, the filter, to, to, in order to add a filter so the only opportunities that are open comes back, 
we type status equals now because status is an option set you have to specify what entity it's related to in this case it's opportunities and then if you use the dot you can get to all the values that make up that option set so if you look what we've got here we've got status equals the status option set for an opportunity and it's the option set value and then we can see that our filter has been applied to our items so the next filter we're going to apply is on the owner field and we want to return opportunities where the owner is equal to the current user now i'll show you what i did incorrectly first now remember we have to work with the, the as type function on the deal with owner field because it's a polymorphic lookup so add another logical test and i'll say as type owner users full name equals user dot fill name. Now users are function within power apps it gets us that some attributes related to the current user. But look at this warning that we get. This is a delegation warning. Now although our filter might work fine on a small data set, you'll certainly come into problems when you're using a big data set of more than a big data set is more than 200 records by default. I'm not going to get a delegation in this video. You just need to be aware that it will cause some problems when you try and use this filter. And the reason it's getting this warning is because we're kind of spanning and we're, get, we're getting a related entity here, attributes from a related entity, and it doesn't like filtering by that. So what do we do in order to solve that? Let's take that whole condition out first and get us back to the start, back to where we started. I'm just going to copy this and paste this in my notepad again, just because we know that we've got a working statement there. So how do we get past that delegation warning? I've tried a few different things, including creating a collection and then filtering on the gallery. That didn't work either. Um, but although I'd got around the delegation warning on that, um, when I launched the app on my phone, it just took ages to return the, to display the opportunity items. So the way that I found to do it is you need to set some variables. And the first variables you need to set are on the app component here and it's on start so when you launch the app you're going to declare some variables and to declare a variable you use the set function give our variable a name we're going to say current user full name and the value is Name. And I set a second variable. I will call our user our second variable, sorry. Current user fill name. We'll actually just say current user. And we're going to set that by using a lookup. What we're going to do, we're going to look, look up the data source of users by full name. And when we find a match in full name, we're going to assign that value to our variable. So similar, if you're familiar with uh, the, the plugins for Dynamics 365 for customer engagement, it's almost like these are an entity reference, so you're going to get the entity reference, not just the full name, but the actual, the actual record. So let's do that. User a lookup statement, 
which will look through a, through a, a, a data source and take the top one that it finds based on your, your condition. So look up data sources users and the condition is full name equals current user full name or variable that we set in line above. Now we just close our brackets. And that's a set of two variables. So when the application starts, this variable sets the user's full name, and then we use that variable to get the actual user record from our user's data set. And that happens on the start of the application. Notice that um, you can see some of these, this, these fields go missing. And I've noticed this happens a few times, I haven't found a way around it yet. Um, it sometimes reverts back to the default settings. So you do need to sometimes put these back in, which is quite annoying. I was thinking some of my formula had broken, but it actually wasn't. It's just the, the default fields getting dragged back in again. So how do we use that in our filter? Well, click to browse gallery again, highlight the gallery. and we add a condition. We can say owner equals the user variable current user. And enter. We don't get any delegation error. Now, one thing to look at, I'll get rid of this. It looks as if we're not pulling any data back here and this really confused me as well. The reason for that is that the event on start of the app hasn't run yet. You're in, even if you run this in preview, that event doesn't run until the app actually starts. So those these variables here are never declared within the studio. If we close down a preview or um, our app and click save and publish. Close everything down. Run the app for real. So yeah, this is us running the app for real. That's correct because it's pulling back only opportunities which are open and owned by me, who is the current user. And then if we launch our studio again. So I click edit. Now that that on start event's run, in our studio it'll pull back the right data. It'll actually run within our studio as well. Now what I thought, I, th I thought that my formula was broken somehow and spent a while trying to, get, trying to get it to work. But there you go. Now we've got the same view that's in, in our studio as it is in our app. And it's just because that on start event hasn't run. So that could sometimes catch you, you can spend some time on that and make sure your events are running. Now that we know that our filter's correct, we can just remove these fields. Because I've not really got any use for them. So that we've still got the the opportunity topic, our name, the account, estimated close date, estimated revenue. That's all we need. We know we've got opportun open opportunities owned by the current user. And then save and publish one more time. And let's preview it on our mobile phone. So it says there's a new version available, so let's tap to get it. And as I said, it's just worth checking this, that this, the, the filter works and the app loads quickly. Because like I said, I had some problems with the app taking a long time to load the list of opportunities 
when I was filtering it in the and the fill in the the, the the gallery and and, and all the way, and um, I make sure we can still search. Oops, help if I could spell ultra correctly. <laughs> and sort works okay. Yep, that looks good. So that's all from this week. We've now got a canvas app with a gallery on it that lists only opportunity, open opportunities relevant to the logged in user. Next week, I don't know what we're going to do next week because I haven't done it yet, but we'll probably go in and look at opening that opportunity up and then editing that opportunity. <laughs> so that could be fun. I'll see you then. Bye.